for Hawkeye Arena. There they are jumping around. They are pumped up before this one. The Hawkeyes were down by as many as five early on, but then they explode. Jordan Wieskamp to steal in the basket. Iowa up 19 to 17. More from Joe Wieskamp. Going to the basket. The reverse. The foul. Wieskamp with a dozen in the first half. Something else from the Muscatine man. Very next possession. Nicholas Bear in transition. Hits the three. Part of a 21-2 run. The former Bettendorf Bulldog, absolutely terrific. Hawkeyes up 13 at halftime. Second half, Ryan Creener, huge game off the bench. 15 points, 10 rebounds. Iowa up 50 to 36. Michigan, though, they would make a charge. Charles Matthew with a three. They were within five midway through the second half. But then it was time for Luca Garza to do his thing. Big man with a three-pointer from the wing. And then check out the grin. Yeah, this is a night to remember. That's what 55's thinking. And then Luca Garza, how about just throwing it down big time for the Hawkeyes, 19 and 8 this evening. And then the fans say this is a party time to storm the court. Hawkeyes win this 74-59 over number five Michigan. And our man who is out there on the court jumping around, holding the camera very steady, I should add, Adam Rosso. He's now a Carver Hawkeye Arena. Adam, take it away. Yeah, Jay, it's quiet now, but obviously it was rocking earlier tonight. The Hawkeyes getting that signature win they were looking for in the Big Ten Conference season. 74-59 over the fifth-ranked Wolverines. Actually, the most points allowed by Michigan in a Big Ten game this season. That 21-2 run you talked about just really blowing the game open as the Hawkeyes took control in that first half. Needless to say, after this one, locker room, a pretty happy place full of those Hawkeyes. It's a great feeling. You know, we've had teams where we've been up and, and lost leads and, and different things like that. And to be able to hold and maintain the lead through all their runs. And, you know, when Michigan ran, made their run tonight, you know, we didn't allow um, that to continue. We came back with ours and, you know, finished the game out. We're coming off two bad losses. Um, so it would have hurt having three going on the road to Indiana next week. Um, so this is a huge win for us at home against the top five team. I'm a realist. So... You beat the fifth-ranked team, that's really good. It's good for our team, it's good for our program, it's good moving forward, but it just makes the next game bigger. A couple of key stats in this one, guys. 24 to three off the bench points in favor of the Hawkeyes. 40 to 20 points in the paint, also in favor of the Hawkeyes. Add that up, that's how you get a big victory over the fifth-ranked team in the country. Dan, what are you thinking there? That's a big time win there. It's a huge win, obviously, for the Hawkeyes. Uh, you're coming off of, as Joe Wieskamp pointed out, a couple straight losses there. So the big question is, you know, Michigan defense had been great all year long, and then here come the Hawkeyes. You hear about the Hawkeyes defense throughout the season, but Adam, I mean, how about their offense putting up a lot of points in this one? You mentioned off the bench. Can this team really compete with anyone in the nation? Yeah, I think they kind of showed it last year in the Big Ten Tournament. Obviously, Michigan running to the national championship, winning the Big Ten Tournament. The Hawkeyes took them to overtime at Madison Square Garden. I think that gave them a lot of confidence in tonight. And even Michigan coach John Beeline said this team was going to be really good. He was surprised that they weren't getting as much pub as some other teams in the league earlier this season. They got a veteran core, and obviously both offense and defense was on display tonight. Adam, Joe Wieskamp, obviously a terrific game. Uh, I heard f uh, head coach Fran McCaffrey kind of gave Joe Wieskamp the green light. He seemed very reserved in his postgame comments. Obviously, there's a few minutes between the end of the game and your interview. But uh, that young man is just an absolute superstar in his freshman year. Yeah, you know, it was funny coming into the uh, interview room where we interviewed the players. Ryan Creener yelled out, he's a baller, talking about Joe Wieskamp. And then Jordan Bohannon came in saying, he's a pro. And Jordan Bohannon really had some great things to say about Wieskamp, his poise, the way he plays as a freshman. And as you said, Fran McCaffrey really happy with how Joe responded, considering he struggled at Minnesota. I think he only had three points. He came out tonight, and you saw in a couple of those highlights, really pushed the envelope, getting to the basket, and then opened everything up for the Hawkeyes in that big run in the first half. Lastly, how about the atmosphere there tonight? I'll tell you what, you know, I've been covering this for three seasons right here in Iowa City. Loudest by far from start to finish. Obviously, that big run in the first half really turned up the juice, but the guys were feeding off of it. So kudos to everybody that showed up at the sold-out crowd here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Adam Rosso in Iowa City, thanks for your hard work. We miss you on the couch, but great work out there. We're glad you were at the game.